The Twin Cities Pride Festival takes place this weekend. For the Jewish community, one rabbi is making history in Minnesota. Rabbi Aaron Weininger is the first gay man being promoted to senior rabbi at one of the largest synagogues in the state. WCCO's Jonah Kaplan has more. God created man in his image, the likeness of the Almighty. It's a verse written in the book of Genesis, but inscribed in the heart and soul of Rabbi Aaron Weininger. I've always believed God and religion to be compassionate. It was human beings who were messing that up, and it was really for human beings to catch up to God's vision of, uh, of compassion. Rabbi Weininger has no doubt helped lead that effort already. He was the first openly gay man to be admitted to the Jewish Theological Seminary in New York, a major rabbinical school for what's known as the conservative movement, a middle ground between reform and orthodox. His first pulpit, Adath Yashurin in Minnetonka, which at more than 1,000 families is among the largest synagogues in Minnesota. Twelve years later, he's just been promoted to senior rabbi. It's not me, it's not any one of us, but I think this moment is reflective of the kind of process and teamwork that we have at Adath. The longtime captain of that team is Harold Kravitz, Adath's rabbi who's retiring after 36 years. It's been a career complete with ongoing debates about balancing ancient Jewish law and modernity. What was the moment or what was the inspiration that sums up how this congregation and maybe your rabbinate has evolved? One of our most respected members said, Rabbi, I just have one question. Is he the best candidate for the job? And I said, I think he is. And the response was, then there's nothing more to talk about. For Rabbi Weininger, the lesson here is simple. Always be proud, and that includes being Jewish in America. When we think about pride, I think touching that power of being Jewish and sharing that story. In Minnetonka, Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News. Rabbi Weininger is leading a special Sabbath morning service for Pride Month. It's at 10 tomorrow morning in Loring Park, and it's open to everyone.